Well, last week, you may remember we shared several stories about Manhattan Project waste being stored in Niagara County. And while there are plans to begin removing it from its containment site, many of you still had questions. Tonight, our Nate Benson is on your side with some of those answers. Nate? Yeah, Mary Alice, naturally there's only so much we can fit into a given story at any given time, but the big questions viewers had were related to how they are going to remove the waste and why it's so hard to link cancer cases to radioactive material. After our story on Friday aired about the Army Corps of Engineers' first phase to remove the waste, a viewer asked where are they taking the hazardous toxins? We don't know yet. That's part of this, uh, working with the contractor and where's the best place to put it. But there are several sites around the country that are certified and permitted to take this type of contaminated waste. Right now, according to the Army Corps of Engineers, all of that is being decided still, as it's part of what's called the design of the project. Another viewer asked, how hazardous will it be to local residents? We line our trucks with uh, special materials to make sure you know that that soil stays in there. We do radiation checks on our trucks before they leave the facility to make sure nothing's going off facility. Uh, we do work very closely with the contractor to make sure they're going the proper route through the community. Finally, we received several questions about why the cancer study didn't determine a cancer cluster was caused by the waste in the area of the Niagara Falls storage site. Dr. Matthew Bonner is an associate professor of epidemiology at UB. He says that cancer cluster studies are often inconclusive. Oftentimes we end up with clusters of all different types of cancers combined. So you might have some brain cancer, some breast cancers, prostate cancers, leukemias. Uh, and we know that most cancers don't have you know, overlapping causes. So it's not like there's a single cause of all of those different sites. The study released in 2008 also could not rule out exposure to the waste as a cause. The Army Corps of Engineers will be having an information center uh, session rather about the removing of the waste from the Lewiston site at the Lewiston Senior Center on October 17th from 6 until 9 p.m. On your side, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.